Folks, you are privileged. This is as much talking as the either of us will do in a fucking week. In a month. Yeah, and uh, and you get it all. Yeah. Like, it's all just for you, coming right to you, served up every time that uh, we can set aside. A, it, you know, you only hear 20 minutes of it, but it, it, it takes some work behind the scenes, folks. You, oh, yeah. You can't imagine how, how many pizzas we've had to buy Polly just to, mm. just to let us in the door. Yeah. But uh, it's all worth it. Yep. Yeah. Why not? It's all worth it to bring this show to you. The Why? hardest part, I will confess, is being in the same room with this motherfucker. Yeah, I smell, <laughs> I smell pretty bad a lot of the time. Yeah. It's the only person I've met who smells worse than I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying something. This is how it is. <laughs> That's good. Oh. You see this product number? It almost looks like it says MST 2BK, but it does not. Yeah. Folks, you're listening to the Age of the Shrug podcast. Why you're listening to the Age of the Shrug? I don't know. Who Who knows? But you are. You are. You have found yourself in the middle of this. This is Maddie Boy. This is Joey Pickles. And this is the Age of the Shrug. And Let's this go. is my chair squeaking. <laughs> oh, no. This makes mine pitiful. Yeah. You want to go for a ride? You want to go for a ride? Go for a ride with Age of the Shrug. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. It's going to be fun. Age of the Shrug is approved for pet listening. <laughs> when you leave the house, just put us on for Fido and leave knowing that he will have company all day. And we won't even... Yeah, we will. We'll, we'll, we'll play that high-pitched whistle that dogs hate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me dial that up. Right <laughs> This is Age of the Shrug. Get the children out of the room. Age of the Shrug may cause ear bleeding, diarrhea, painful projectile vomiting, and the... Pregnant. (laughs) Not responsible for pregnancy's cause. Pregnant. Age of the Shrug cannot be held responsible for any injury due to convulsive laughter, hysterical... Mania. You know. I or could, that schizoid attack that you do. <laughs> I could, uh, like, uh, splice that. You saying that and speed it up. <laughs> you know, like, uh, well, not the pitch, but the. Yeah, pace, I need that. And it'll sound like that shit that. Yeah. Okay, we, I, I got to get a nice big list of. <laughs> yeah. Because you know that, have you noticed that on commercials for stuff uh, on the radio? At the end it says, uh, there's like somebody who can already talk fast, but they're compressing it so it sounds even quicker and it just sounds like uh, um, sounds like the part of that Kraftwerk song, We Are The Robots. I think it's We Are The Robots where it just goes like, <laughs> That there's devil music. <laughs> I de- that's a devil talking to you, son. <laughs> You're speaking in tongues here. I grew up near a bunch of snake handling, tongue speaking. Wow. Fucking they fascinate me. Foot washing. Yeah. Yeah, I saw them. Yeah. Uh, a couple of times when I first moved to Georgia. I saw, saw a couple of... Some interesting people, man. Yep. Some interesting people. I, that's actually one of the only parts that kind of of the movie Borat that kind of didn't sit with me that well when he's he's in with the the guys speaking in tongues and yeah it's like hey, you don't have to humiliate these guys necessarily is it like, leave these guys alone I mean <laughs> come on it's easy man. We also missed Richard Brodigan's birthday. Oops. Yep. Sorry, Dick. How much Brodigan you, you you put behind you? Not much. Yeah. If any. Dude, it's, it's a strange cat, man. Do you hear the, you know, the story about 
like I think it was about eight years old. Uh, little Dick Brodigan gets back from school and finds that his whole family has moved. Just packed up and moved and left him. <laughs> N- neighbor took him in, gave him bus fare. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Surprised you didn't know that one, man. No. <laughs> Little Dick Brodigan comes home. He's like, Ma, Dad, where are you? Uh, Dickie, they move. Uh, <laughs> what? Yeah, they, they packed up and moved this morning. I thought they took you with... It's cool, Dick. Come on, I'll, I'll feed you a hamburger. I'll, I'll put you on the bus bus next week. Anyway. Yeah, I think they took up a collection to buy his bus fare. Oh, you know, Holy which is kind of sad in itself because you know these these citizens they didn't want him. They're like nobody did. Everybody chip in. Let's get the fuck rid of this guy. You know. How much of a deadbeat do you have to be <laughs> to just move out on your kid? How? <laughs> I mean, you yeah, must have the moral compass of like, Goebbels. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I, I don't feel like taking care of this kid anymore. It's cheaper to just move. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's like they meant to leave him. It's just <laughs> like... They forgot it. Exactly. I, it's, it, I don't think it was anything malicious. I think it was just wow. an oversight. Yeah. I mean, because, I mean, he was reunited with them. It's not like... Well, did they have a lot of kids? Not that many is the thing. Yeah. I mean, they must have been, yeah. you know, yep. something. I don't know. Like the Barrymores. They're fucking stoners, man. <laughs> you just can't trust them. No. <laughs> no. Folks of Atlanta, don't be on the road in about half an hour, because I will be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah. It's a good thing we're live and you know what time it is, so you can <laughs> set your watch by. You know, yeah. it's usually Tuesdays or Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, between ten and two, you're safe. Yeah, go run your errands. It gets to be about two thirty, three o'clock. Yeah, you're fucked, man. Don't fucking get in my way like that. Fucking okay. Yeah, yeah we saw that we had we had that freestyle in front of us earlier today. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yesterday, two things. Had a charger, you know, one of those nice chargers in front of me. Comes the heater. Doing about 30 in a 45. Uh, you know, I don't know why you buy a charger to do 30 in a 45, but whatever. And then I saw one of the funniest things I've ever seen, man. Someone had, uh, it was a Honda CRV with rims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, whoever drives the teal Honda CRV with like the big flashy rims, that was a great investment, wasn't it? Look, I'm just going to I'm just going to repeat this hilarious uh, metaphor. All right. Hit me. <laughs> it was a comedian uh, Otto Peterson. Uh, he's he, he was a he's unfortunately deceased. He was, okay, he was I was about to say guy. Otto, if you're listening, we'll send no, you a no, dollar in the no, mail. But no I, worries. I, I want to spread the word about Otto Peterson, uh, Otto and George. And, uh, he had a ventriloquist dummy. He was, okay. he was just a great, great, great ventriloquist act. And he did one joke. I think it was his dummy. You know, George, his dummy. He said, uh, you know, a, a fat girl with blonde hair. That's that's such a that's such a tease. It's like whipped cream on a pile of dog shit. <laughs> Thank you, folks. That's all the time we have. <laughs> we'll see you next time with Age of the Shrug. This is Joey Pickles. I didn't say it. <laughs> he said it. <laughs> well, I didn't make it up. <laughs> I just repeated it. Just be safe out there. Uh, Oh, be safe out there, folks. Don't think and drive.